website. We all know Swift for this bank to bank phone exchange transfer. Is that what Swift primarily does? Um, Swift is much larger than that as an organization. We're a cooperative, um, which has 11,000 plus members globally. We're owned by those members, uh, which is what makes us a cooperative by nature. Um, we are also the registration authority for the way that financial institutions speak to each other, um, called ISO. So ISO is the standard, yeah. So the cooperative, the 11,000 members, are these the banks, the financial institutions, etc.? Yep. They're banks, uh, they're brokers, they're asset managers, they're corporates, um, so they're all members of SWIFT. Okay, now the big question on all our viewers' minds is, is SWIFT using using blockchain or digital ledger technology? Um, so we are selectively looking at the use of DLT. Um, the reason that we're doing this is because our owners are also interested in that as a trend. So they're looking at how do they leverage DLT for certain business problems. We don't think that DLT or blockchain is the answer to every problem. What we like to do first is look at the problem and then apply te the right technology as the solution. So a couple areas where we are looking at it is, um, we're looking at it with um, in Singapore for uh, proxy voting, which is a big industry challenge that we face. Um, we're looking at it um, and have worked with some large market infrastructures like the Australian Stock Exchange who are putting in place DLT for their new clearing and settlement system. Um, we are also looking at it in other ways, um, but it's not just us looking at it. What we would like to be in the future is a platform that helps to connect our members up to the best of these blockchain solutions. So we're working with, for example, R3, who's been doing a lot of work um, as it relates to trade finance, and how do we link together that trade finance value chain to the payment value chain that underpins it all. So you guys are very much looking at the space. Yeah. Our viewers probably all know you for bank-to-bank -bank foreign exchange transfers, yes. right? That's what Swift is, is probably best known for. Are you using blockchain technology for that function? So there is work that's going on from a market infrastructure perspective who are really our stakeholders who are looking at that. We would be very open to working with um, DLT platforms who are looking at that. But we are not in the market ourselves to do things like multilateral netting, to do clearing of transactions. That's not what SWIFT does. We are at our core, we are a platform, and we are a place um, where we could connect up potentially to those infrastructures. So if you follow crypto, and specifically crypto Twitter, you'll see that the, the big XRP community constantly challenges SWIFT. Are you worried about XRP? Can XRP disrupt your business? Can they take a part of the business and really disrupt it? Um, I think that it's really interesting everything that's gone on in the payment space around DLT. Um, I would just say that I think that the numbers speak for themselves in that um, the old days of it taking several days to make a payment cross-border don't exist anymore. It's down to minutes and or seconds, even directly connecting into real-time payment systems. So those old days are gone. And outside of that, SWIFT has something called the global GPI, the Global Payments Innovation. And this Global Payments Innovation is all around um, making payments fast, transparent, and taking the friction out of that process. And this, um, I would say the numbers speak for themselves in that $300 billion a day is done across... $300 billion. Yep, across the SWIFT network, 50% of our payments. So it's a massive amount of payments, um, and it's a massive amount of our members that, that are already leveraging this. Um, so if you compare that to others in the market, yes, there is discussion, but I think that the figures speak for themselves. Now, you mentioned that SWIFT payments are taking are very quick today. Mm -hmm. And the perception is, of course, that the payments are very slow, that they take a couple of days. How have you managed to get the payments down to such a quick period of time? Is it because you're starting to apply new technology and maybe DLT technology? Um, it's actually leveraging existing technology in a lot of ways, but it shows the power of our industry, right? So what it's done is it's, it's taken a group of banks to get together and say, these are the rules by which we are going to live as it relates to payments. So we are going to do it within this amount of time, we are going to provide transparency on fees, et cetera, et cetera. And then on top of it, SWIFT helped to put in place some technology that allows for the tracking of payments and the transparency into those payments. So we have something called the, the, the UETR, the Unique um, Tracking Reference on the Payment. And what this allows us to do is effectively copy to the cloud where the payment is in the process, and it allows that full transparency into the chain. So SWIFT, do you ever see SWIFT building their own blockchains? Or could it be that, uh, that you'll use an existing blockchain for your applications? Um, I 
I think this is a bit beyond me to foresee what our uh, what our CEO might do, but I would say that I think we would be open to leveraging our platform more in the future. Things are about to change.